Researchers are extremely certain that they have finally located Noah's Ark. Previously, the Ark had been lost to time, though we believed that it likely washed ashore on a mountain in Turkey. There is still a great deal of skepticism as to whether or not this incredible find is truly Noah's Ark, but researchers remain confident that the remnants they've discovered truly belong to Noah and his renowned Ark. The narrative of Noah's Ark has enthralled scholars and commoners for millennia, with biblical traditions about Noah and his life-saving boat circulating around the world. Numerous individuals have pondered the size of this boat and how a single man and his family was able to recruit two of every animal in the globe and live on this boat for more than a month. According to biblical history, God selected Noah. God directed Noah to construct a big boat for himself, his family, and two of each kind of animal. Because God considered the world had fallen into evil and that there was no hope for its salvation, he unleashed a global flood that wiped out everyone who saves those aboard the ark. The Bible tells us that once the flood subsided, it most likely impacted the highlands of Ararat in what is now Turkey. This account appears in both the Old and New Testaments, and several ancient civilizations related similar tales of a huge flood with only a handful of survivors. However, only recently have scientists discovered the first physical evidence proving this boat was real. Before we begin, please click the like button and the notification bell for additional videos. Noah's Ark and its religious significance. The story of Noah's Ark is one of the most frequently debated in global history. The fact that the Ark is mentioned in the Christian Bible, as well as Jewish and Islamic texts, makes it extremely intriguing. In addition, the Sumerians, also known as the Shanrites, told of a huge flood. This flood appears to have occurred a few thousand years ago, however, scientists and scholars have questioned the veracity of these texts until now. Numerous academics questioned whether a ship of this size and build could have survived a massive flood. Others questioned how the ship could have accommodated so many animals. Still, researchers are now certain that the narrative is accurate after discovering what they claim to be the ruins of Noah's Ark in a Turkish mountain. In April 2010, a team of Chinese archaeologists stated that they had discovered the debris of Noah's Ark in the Turkish highlands of Ararat, as claimed in historical writings. This 15-member team of researchers is 99.9% .9 positive of their discovery, stating that the only plausible explanation for these remains is that they belonged to Noah's Ark. The team investigating the discovery conducted a news conference in which they described how they had discovered fragments of wood and rope that were likely utilized on the Ark. A team of scientists from a Christian organization known as Noah's Ark Ministries International also claimed to have discovered a larger structure of the ship at approximately 4,000 meters above sea level in the mountains of Ararat. To put that in perspective, the mountains are estimated to be about meters high, and the pieces of wood they fetch from the wreckage are estimated to be about meters long. Not only did the researchers find bits of cypress wood, the same type of wood that Noel was told to use, but they also discovered evidence that the ship was divided into multiple separate portions. These sections roughly resemble stables where the animals would have been housed, According to the research team, these stables would have accommodated nearly two of the majority of animals on the planet, including huge beasts such as lions, bears, and elephants. The Turkish authorities allegedly concealed the precise location of these discoveries until more excavations could be conducted. Nevertheless, there is a great deal of skepticism that these discoveries may not be authentic. According to a number of academics and researchers, this discovery is implausible given the length of time that has gone since the Ark landed on shore. Some scientists also reject the idea that Noah's Ark existed in the first place. However, this theory seems extremely unlikely given the number of eyewitness accounts given over the years and the number of ancient civilizations that could have directly descended from Noah's family, all of whom claimed that the flood actually occurred. 
Despite this, there are a few critical pieces of evidence that could refute this discovery. Several experts claim to have witnessed a Kurdish mountain guide transporting a big quantity of wood to the summit of the mountain range. He would also have melted snow and allowed the wood to mature for a while, creating the illusion that it had recently been unearthed after being buried for many years. The veracity of these allegations has never been established, however, it is probable that this finding was fabricated by a con artist attempting to cheat people out of money in exchange for taking them up the mountain. Some researchers who consider the narrative of Noah's Ark to be true also question whether or not the Ark would have been discovered thus high on the mountain. According to these scientists, it is almost impossible for the Ark to have reached more than 4,000 meters above sea level if the account is accurate. According to the researchers, there just isn't enough water in the world to float a boat so high atop Mount Drupana. To further argue this notion, several have suggested that Mount Drupana may be a more plausible location for Noah's Ark. Thousands of people believed that this mountain was the most feasible location for the Ark to have landed after many years of investigation. Keep in mind that over the years, hundreds of research teams have claimed to have discovered Noah's Ark. Despite the fact that these claims have been repeatedly disproven or, at the very least, severely contested, in 1959, a Turkish study team uncovered an intriguing rock formation that many believed resembled a ship's hull. In 1977, a group of investigators traveled to the region to study the mountain range after some of them were led to believe that this could be the location of the legendary Ark of Noah. During their study of the area, the investigators discovered a number of metal fragments that they believe once belonged to the Ark. These metals would have been used to hold the Ark together, and they may have been used in the stables for containing the animals. There are probably no accounts of a previous volcanic eruption that would have left behind residue and rock that resembled metal or iron. Upon additional study, it was determined that these putative iron fragments were titanium-containing magnetites, validating the notion of a volcanic explosion. In addition, the Bible appears to indicate that the Ark would have resembled a cube rather than a typical boat. Consequently, the discovered rock formations did not conform to the biblical account and could not have been part of the Ark. Furthermore, the Bible never mentions any type of rock being used in the construction of the Ark. Only gopher wood or cypress would qualify. Therefore, the hypothesis that the Ark was located on Mount Durupina has been disproven. Numerous trips proved fruitless. Despite the efforts of numerous research teams throughout the years, there is no definitive evidence that the Ark has ever been discovered. Even though biblical history suggests that the Ark would have been ashore in the Ararat Mountains, archaeological evidence indicates otherwise. There is no assurance that the mountains of that time would have resembled the mountains of today. In fact, we do not even know if the Ararat Mountains of 2021 would have been the same Ararat Mountains as those of 5,000 years ago. The names may have become confused over time, or the mountains may have undergone drastic changes, especially when considering the possibilities of volcanic activity. Where is the Ark of Noah, and where does this leave us? Has the Ark been discovered? Currently, the location of the Ark appears to be unknown, much like the biblical Ark of the Covenant and the fabled Holy Grail. Even if these things genuinely existed, it is unlikely that they will ever be discovered. One reason for this is that the individuals who buried or hid them never meant for them to be discovered. Though there is a much more plausible explanation for this, we must keep in mind that metallic resources would have been extremely scarce at the time, and that wooden resources would have been difficult to come by. Furthermore, we know that humans from this time period would have had access to saws and axes, but using them would have required multiple people and entailed a great deal of work. This suggests that the majority of individuals throughout this time period would have reused their resources and repurposed them for new endeavors. Consider the immense amount of time it would have taken Noah and his family to construct the Ark.
It seems inconceivable that after they eventually landed, they would abandon the Ark and not utilize the timber and metal components. Most likely, the Ark did exist. However, it did not exist when Noah and his family ultimately reached land. The Ark would have been disassembled and reposed to build homes, structures, or agricultural tools. When the Ark was loaded with expensive wood and metal, it seems doubtful that they would have allowed it to lie there and rot for so many years. Therefore, what does this indicate? It has been demonstrated that we will never locate the Ark. In truth, it likely no longer exists after Noah's family depleted its vital resources. It would make sense for the remaining wood to have decomposed over time, leaving no trace of it now. Consider that if a tree falls in the forest, it does not remain there for centuries. Within a few decades, the majority of trees begin to rot and are consumed by pests. It will appear that the idea of Noah's Ark sitting on a mountain for nearly 5,000 years is nothing more than a pipe fantasy. What do you think? Comment below.